I'm going to break down multiplication for you the simplest way possible. I have these three people in my classroom, this boy, this guy, and this girl, and I'm going to give each of them two pencils. So each kid is going to get two pencils. So let's go ahead and give this boy two pencils, and this guy two pencils, and this girl two pencils. So to represent this numerically through an equation, I'm going to say that I had my two pencils, which is represented by two, you can see there, and I gave that out three times. There's my multiplication sign. So 2 times 3 equals 6 because total I would have 6 pencils. So 2 pencils, 3 times, 1, 2, 3 would be 6. Now I'm going to give out 3 pencils of each kid. So my new equation is going to be 3 times 3. Why is it going to be times 3? Because 1, 2, 3 kids are getting it. So I'm giving these pencils out 3 different times. So this kid gets a group of 3, that kid gets a group of 3, and that kid gets a group of 3. So I gave out three pencils, and I gave them out three different times. Three times three is nine. In the first part of this video, I said I was going to give out two pencils to three kids each, so two times three would be six. And the reason that's true is, well, because I got these two pencils right there. I'm giving them out to three kids, so I got two pencils three times and equals six. But what would happen if I said it backwards and I said I have three kids and I want to give them two pencils each, would it still be six? Yeah, because nothing changes. Because two times three is six and three times two is six. That is what we call the commutative law of multiplication. For example, if I got four times two equals eight, well, two times four equals eight as well. It's the same way frontwards and backwards.